question 3.56 here. This is the seventh edition, just so you guys know. Uh, it's a little different than the sixth ones. So do be careful um, that you don't looking at the wrong version. Okay, so this is um, V1 and V2, and obviously I guess it's encouraged for us to use um, the mesh analysis. Um, that's what I, the method I will be using in this question. Um, so first we have I1, right, the I1 loop over here. And uh, so I go into the negative, negative terminal of ne uh, 12 volts, so it's negative 12 volts. Uh, there's so many ways of doing it, so many ways how different schools are teaching it. This is just how I've learned. So please do not leave in a comment down below and saying that blah, 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 I believe it. Okay, like that's the way how you taught being taught this is the way I've been taught and um, I can't know how you're being taught right so this is just the way in the end as long as we get the same answers uh, it's good I mean it's, electric circuit is already difficult enough there's a conventional circuit there's the actual current there's a conventional current like it's, it's weird it's very weird anyway so okay I'm gonna use the negative 12 volts and then it's going to go to plus the 12, the 2 ohms. So it's going to be negative, uh, I mean, I, uh, I1 minus I3. And then uh, plus 2 I1 minus I2. And then that's it. I give a 0. Okay, that's the entire, this is applying the uh, Christoph voltage law over here. Right, so this is uh, what we're use, doing right here. And... How do we determine whether this is at the, the positive or this is the negative? It depends on the matter of perspective. We're looking at I1, so I1 is positive and I3 is negative, right? The other one, the one that's going the negative direction against this current, therefore we're going to use the negative one. Okay, and if you set it going this way, then it's going to be positive. But I suggest you to use all the current uh, clockwise or homogeneous, right? If you use counterclockwise, then I'll use all of those kind of like counterclockwise like it's just better for your calculation and in the end when you consolidate all of the answers together it's easy to manage right easier to manage okay and then i will move on to i2 which is this one um so it's going to be so two ohms uh times well i'm just going to skip the ohms two I2 minus I1, and then move on to plus 2. It's I2 uh, minus I3, and then we move to here, which is plus a uh, two, 2 ohms plus uh, I2. Think of a 0, and then I3 over here, which is uh, a 2 ohm I3 plus, I started this one and then going this way, okay? So now and then it's 2 ohms I3 minus I2 uh, plus 2 ohms uh, I3 minus I1. Okay, now it's time to simplify. So let's see, I1. All right, so 2, 2, so that's 4 I1, and then uh, negative 2 I2, uh, negative 2 I3 equals 12V. Okay, I2, I'm just simplifying it. Uh, this is negative 1, neg so just negative 2, 1, 2I. Two um, so there's 6 of 6, so plus 6I2 six and uh, negative minus 2I3. That give us zero, right? Uh, let's check that might work. This one, two, six, two, six. Okay, cool. And then I three, I three is so negative two I one, I two is negative two I two, and then this is uh, what? I three, I three, I three. So plus six, I three. This gives us zero. Okay. Um, you can totally use substitution or Gauss elimination, uh, but I think it's too much work. The best uh, thing I use, I usually do, uh, especially in the exam, I'll just use my calculator, right? So I just put this into a matrices. Sorry. Um, so negative two, six, negative two, 
um, negative 2, negative 2, and 6, right? And this is I1, I2, I3 equals uh, 12, 0, 0. And this is, if, you, if you're going to use your calculator uh, during an exam, uh, I suggest you write this down to show your professor or TA that you know the knowledge, you know what type of math that you have to use uh, to be able to solve this. And then in the end, I usually just write calculated uh, by calculator or obtained through a calculator. So like, you know what method you use and you know, I've been I've been through the IB per curriculum and this is what I've been taught, especially in paper two in math. If I use a calculator, I have to write this down. And you know, it's just better uh, to do that. So in the end, I you can figure out what I1, I2, and I3 is. Uh, even though that's not what you're calculating, uh, I guess in, uh, if you're using a calculator, just write it down. So, um, your professor, you, I mean, you know, your professor know that, okay, so he actually spent a time like calculating and know which one it is and not just like copying down the work, right? So, uh, what would that be? So, I1 is 6 A ampere, I2 is 3 ampere, and then I3 is 3 ampere, okay? So, we are being asked, what is I1? Uh, what is V1 and V2? Um, so V1 is is what? Is current times ohms, right? So what's the current? I3, I3 is 3A times ohms, that is two, right? Two ohms. And it's going into the positive direction, right? This is clockwise, so it's going to the positive direction first. So it's the positive uh, current law. I mean, uh, it's the positive Ohm's law. That's how we've been taught, is that if a current entering the positive terminal, then we use the positive uh, Ohm's law. If it's entering the negative terminal, then we use the negative uh, Ohm's law for currents and stuff, right? So V1 is six uh, volts, right? And then, um, and then V2 uh, is, V2 is what? I2. I2 is what? I2 is 3A uh, times 2 ohms. Uh, so I2, uh, V2, sorry, gives you uh, 2 volts as well. And so volt, volt, uh, well, both volts uh, equals to each other, right? They have the same magnitude. Okay, um, this one is pretty straightforward, I guess. If you have to use gas eliminations and, you know, good luck. I mean, there's a way to do it, right? So, for example, like this, add this, right? The, I mean, sorry, this minus this, and you cancel I1. And then, or, and, or you can, like, times 2, and then this plus this. You get rid of I1, then you have I2, I3, I2, I3 independently. And then you can find out what I2 and I, I3 is, right? There's a different way to do it, obviously. Okay, you can set this equal to this, and then use the sum of this with this, and to figure that out. All right, both works. Uh, it really depends on what you're trying to do here. Um, but if you're in exam and you can, you have the access to a calculator, I suggest you just use the matrices way to solve this. All right. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful. Good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.